Hello, my viewers. Today I'm excited to take you through a topic in mathematics called geometry. As you can see on the screen, our first lesson will be on inscribing a circle. And this is drawing a circle that touches the sides or edges or lines of a triangle. So if you are in class seven or class eight, I would prefer that you pause my channel and then you grab your set because I will take you step by step on how to inscribe a circle. By the end of the activity, we will be able to draw a circle that touches the sides or lines of a triangle. Some important points before we start. Note that to construct a circle that touches the sides or edges of a triangle, bisect any two angles of the triangle. And not sides are also called edges or lines. So take your set, and here we go. Now draw any angle of your choice. As you can see on the screen, I'm drawing an angle. Draw an angle like that one of mine there, just of any size. And then you grab your set, I mean your compass. You want to bisect an angle. First, I must teach you how to bisect an angle. Grab your compass, stand at the vertex where the angle starts or where the angle is formed. Reduce the size of the compass to a substantial amount, as you can see I'm doing here on the screen. Then after you do that, we are supposed to draw, we are supposed to make an arc. That will cut the top line and the bottom line like that. So reduce the size of the compass, make an arc when you are standing at this point, make an arc to cut this line and an arc to cut the other line there. Then remove the compass, bring it at this point, as you can see. Then you stretch the compass more, just to be substantial amount. Then at this point, draw a knack when you're standing at this point, make a knack as I've done there. Remove the compass, stand at the other point there where the arc meet the line using the same radius. Don't disturb the size of the compass. Make a knack that will intersect the other arc like that. Then you remove your compass, grab your ruler, my ruler is here. Place the ruler at this point where you can see my pencil, and then the other end of the ruler where the two arcs intersect. You press the ruler where the two arcs intersect at that point, and make sure that you are very accurate. There. There. If I'm fast, you pause and try to do what I'm doing so that we achieve our objective. Then you grab your pencil, draw a line from this point here, uh, like that. So we have now bisected an angle. What is to bisect an angle? To bisect an angle is to cut it into two equal halves. If I get my protractor here and I try to measure one of the angles and I measure the other angle, I will find that they are exactly the same because I've bisected them. To bisect means divide into two equal halves. So using the inner scale from this zero, my angle, the bottom angle is 0, 10, 20, 30, it's 30 degrees. If I measure the other angle, I will tilt the compass, tilt the compass, then I measure using the same inner scale, as you can see, 0, 10, 20, 30, exactly 30 degrees. So that is very well bisected angle. So I want us to practice again on bisecting an angle. Let's bisect again how to bisect an angle. And this time I'm going to draw a larger angle, which looks like this. You also do the same. An obtuse angle this time, like that one. Then I repeat the process. I take my compass, I place it at the vertex there. I reduce the size of my compass for a substantial amount. 
Then I tilt it to make a knack from this point until it cuts both lines like that. That. Remove the compass to check what you have done. Yeah, it should look like that. Then you place the compass at where the arc meets the line, the top line. Stretch the compass to be a bit wider than it was. Then you make an arc on this side, like that. Without disturbing the size of the compass, move with the same radius, move to the bottom line where it cuts the arc. And then you try to cut an arc, which is going to cut the other arc, like that. Wow, that's nice. Then after that, you take your ruler, you place it at this point here, and then the other end, you place it at where the two arcs intersect. Yes, like that. Then after that, after ensuring that you are placed at the right place, get, get your pencil and then draw a line that joins the two points like that. So even without measuring by looking at this angle here, the bottom angle and the other angle, they are exactly the same because I've bisected properly. So after that practice now, I want to draw a triangles, then we bisect any two angles so that we can draw a circle touching the sides. So at this point now, I draw a triangle. You also do the same. Draw a triangle of your choice at the center of the book, like this one of mine. That's a triangle, the one we want to bisect. Then we are going to bisect this angle here. We're going to bisect this angle here. So just as I did in the earlier lesson, you grab your compass, bring it at this end where the angle starts, reduce the size of the compass completely to a substantial amount, like that one there. Then you draw a knack, you make a knack that cuts the two lines. You make a knack that cuts the two lines like that. Remove your compass, expand it a bit, then you place it at this point here, where the arc meets the top line. Make an arc on this side with the same radius, without disturbing the size of the compass, move to this side. Make an arc that will intersect the other arc. Don't force it. If it cannot reach, just go to the other end. If it cannot be able to intersect, just go to the other end and try to make it uh, repeat the same process to see whether it will cut, cut like that. Good. Then after that, you take your ruler. Let's it as we did earlier. Place it in such a way that it can Cut that, that. Yeah, place it to be able to reach that point and where the lines intersect. If I'm moving fast, you can always pause to do what I'm doing. Take your pencil, draw a line, and make sure that your line is long, like that one there. Then we have successfully bisected one angle. We have to bisect another angle. As we had said, we have to bisect two angles. So we are going to bisect this angle here. So to bisect this angle, we are going to take our compass, reduce the size. Reduce the size to a substantial amount. We bring it to the end of the angle here and return our compass. Yes, like that. Then we draw a knack that cuts the two lines of the angle, like that, good. Then we remove the compass, if you can remember, stretch it more. 
not any given uh, leg, you just stretch it to the amount, uh, to the size you want. Then uh, bring your construction here, bring your compass there, try to draw a circle that touches the side, that side here. Then you move down here, you make another arc like that. Then after that, you take your ruler. We have bisected, we are about to bisect the second angle. You draw a ruler here, you get your ruler. You place it there. We are about to bisect the other angle. Wow, this is nice. I love mathematics, it's so easy. Then you take your pencil, draw a line from this point to that point. And we have successively bisected two angles. We have bisected this angle, we have bisected this angle. So now we want to draw a circle that touches the sides. So to draw a circle that touches the sides, we are supposed to drop a perpendicular line. We are supposed to drop a perpendicular line from where the two bisectors meet, from where the two bisectors meet. So we are supposed to drop a line from here. This is to get the radius of the circle. So we stand at this point and we drop a perpendicular to determine the radius. Just watch what I will do and you'll be able to know what is to drop a perpendicular. So the two bisectors meet at this point here where you can see. So I grab my compass. I stand at this point. I bring it at this point where the two bisectors meet. Then I try to reduce the size of the compass in such a way that it can cut this baseline into two, into two. Let's try and see. Let's try and see whether that is possible. So we try to see whether it can cut into two sides there. Eh? Here, yeah, it can cut on this side, it can cut on the other side. So you stretch it in such a way that it can cut one side, it can cut the other side. If it can't, you make it wider, but not too wide. So I now stand, standing at the center, I try to cut and cut there. Yeah, it has cut this side and it has cut the other side. I'm trying to drop a particular from this point, from where the two bisectors meet. Then I remove the compass. I remove the compass. I stretch it a bit more, but not a lot, because the, you can see the bottom side here, I don't have a lot of space. It depends on how much space you have. Then uh, I reduce it a bit. Then I bring my compass here where the arc cut the line, the first arc where it cut the line, it cut it there. Then I try to tilt my compass. Then I make a knack here. I make a knack here, like that. I remove the compass with the same radius without disturbing the size of the compass. I stand at this other side where it had cut the arc. Then try to tilt the compass to cut this arc, to cut an arc there. Wow, this is nice. So I've cut an arc which has intersected the other arc. I remove the compass. Then I take my ruler, take my ruler here. I'm going to place it where the two bisectors meet and where the two arcs intersect. Just watch. Like that. And this side like this, and this side like that. Just making sure that I'm very accurate because accuracy matters. Yeah, like that, like that. So I'm going to draw a line from here, from where the two bisectors meet up to where it touches the line, but not up to down here, just up to where it touches the line. So 
this is a line that I, I'm dropping a line from this side all the way up to here to there. Good. I can remove my ruler, I can remove my compass. So this is now the radius of the circle that I want. This is the radius of the circle that will touch the sides. So now I take my compass, I stand at the center, and then I bring the other end to, to reduce the size of the compass until it touches the size of the, 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 line, the line that I dropped this side here. This is the radius. So I close my compass like that. Then I try to draw a circle now, which is going to touch the sides. Try to draw a circle. Yeah, perfect. That is nice. And as you can see, it has touched the sides. Wow, this is good. So I'm happy that my circle has touched the three sides accurately. So this is what we call inscribing a triangle in a circle. That is inscribing a circle. That is drawing a circle that touches the sides of the triangle. So I've successfully done that. So now I take my ruler to measure the radius of this circle. Take the ruler to measure the radius of this circle. I can measure from this end. So if I want to measure, I will measure from zero. Remember when you're measuring, you always start from the zero mark, from the zero mark. So my radius is 1.6 centimeters. So my radius is 1.6 centimeters. So thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to like and to subscribe to my channel so that I can give you more services. And in the next lesson, I'm going to take you how to circumscribe a circle. So don't miss this. Bye.